In this lecture, we're going to check out this animation, which technically speaking is not a animation, rather is a kind of uh, simulation or demonstration. And in this specific case, we are going to study McCabe Thiel method, which is typically used in binary distillation for a methanol water separation. Now, uh, you can download the software from wolfram.com, which is CDF, CDF player and then you can download these demonstrations and actually you will see that through all the course and i also have this in other courses because i think this is a very powerful tool you can download the so-called demonstrations these are people that get into the diagram and they work through it so other students and professors can get access to this and understand the actual mathematics graph and processes so what i'm going to do is go back here i'm going to open the software well, from player and then open the McCabe Thiel method for the methanol water separation. I got this diagram and I got this text. This is very typical things to try. Resize images, slide zoom, game pad, automatic animation. Actually, this will be cool. And the details on how they are calculating everything. For instance, we got the vapor or saturated pressure is calculated using Antoine. We got activity coefficients via Margul's model. We got, what else do we have here? The reflux, how are they calculating, and so on. But the important part I want to do is to play with this part right here. Okay, so first things first, let's start to study the animation. View process flow diagram. I'm pretty sure it's talking about the diagram right here. So let's click it. Okay, so that's great if you want to show a greater diagram right here or if you want to add the diagram, which in my opinion is better. Now, number of stages, the counting either top to bottom, the conventional is top to bottom, do not use bottom to top, but if you want to use it, go and feel free. External reflux ratio, which is how much are you getting back, and how much are you withdrawing, you can change it. And guys, remember that the more reflux you have, typically you will decrease the number of stages. Typically, doesn't mean, ah, actually I love this example. This will be the case in which you are refluxing the minimum, or at least I think this is a minimum. Look how many stages you will require in this specific case. But if you do the reverse, go for a larger reflux ratio, L to D is almost 10, you will require very low amount of stages. Small fractions, you can change it. Actually, if you want to be more strict, let's say that you want something 95%, 97%, 98%, look how the stages increase drastically. Look the size of the first step compared to 80%. Actually, the most common thing is to compare 90%, 95%, and 90, well, almost 99, no, 98 is the top. And the desired bottoms product. Maybe you're focusing your attention in a bottom, which is not that typical, but let it be. You can also change the flow rate, no, the fraction. And that's how we work with this type of animations. This is my cave field method used extensively in binary uh, distillation.